That Stan Collender buried in the news flow is your world. I want to link them together. The general is worried about using patience and caution. Is our military properly funded? And do the people at risk of the United States in the Mediterranean and the Levant, do they have the right resources off of our budget? The answer is yes. I mean, we just came up with a $1.3 trillion funding bill for the rest of 2018 that dramatically increases the military by about $700 billion or so a year. So we're talking about some, some decent dollars. Now, most of this will go for new weapon systems, not for additional troops. Um, so there will be some, some uh, high-tech uh, 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 updates for the military that will be useful for years. Uh, Paul Ryan is retiring. There's all sorts of comments. I'm not going to bring it up. Don't bring it up now, Alex. We don't have the time. But, but Paul Krugman really centering out a conservative theology on the debt and the deficit. With Mr. Ryan's exit, who becomes the traditional conservative debt and deficit guy for the Republican Party? Well, uh, Tom, it's a really good question. First of all, I'm not sure Paul Ryan was as much of a traditional debt and deficit guy as you're making That's it out That's what Krugman would say. Um, you know, he, he, in fact, one of the, the big legacy of Paul Ryan is that he's going to have, he will have presided as speaker over the biggest permanent increase in the deficit and debt of any, any previous speaker almost in any, any other time in American history. And this is the person who said he was adamantly against the deficit and debt and wanted to eliminate uh, both of them. So I'm not sure that, that the reputation is earned. Um, but you're asking the right question. It doesn't seem to be anybody within the Republican Party in the House who's right. going to take up that mantle mm -hmm. at the moment. Uh, in fact, that, that horse has left the barn. I mean, we're talking about permanent trillion-dollar deficits at least as long as the okay. uh, Trump administration. 